Hi and welcome to Belgian Diecast Restorations. I'm Johan and this week's model makeover is another contribution for the challenge of the Diecast and Models community on Facebook. On the turntable we have the Hot Wheels Turismo. At first glance you might think that this is another fantasy model, but this actually was designed to be a DeLorean. The DeLorean Motor Company or DMC introduced the first prototype of the DeLorean in 1976. The car soon drew attention with its striking design, however it was yet to become famous in the Back to the Future movies. Back in 1978, as DMC was setting up a factory in Ireland, Mattel contacted the car manufacturer and they got a verbal authorization to produce a Hot Wheels model of the DeLorean. They developed the prototype and started making the molds for mass production. In the meantime, however, DMC had made an agreement with Lesney and the license with Mattel was scrapped. The product development at Mattel decided to modify the molds so that the car no longer looked like a DeLorean. The front grille and rear side windows were closed up and the taillights received arrow indicators to hide the signature DeLorean taillights. The name of the model was changed to Turismo without any references to DMC or DeLorean. As you can see this model has been painted over in white, although it looks like it actually fell into the paint bucket. Let's see how it looks in DeLorean metallic grey. So let's get out the tools and give this model a makeover.
The DeLorean is an iconic car, also thanks to the popularity of the Back to the Future movies. When Mattel got an oral permission to make a model, they immediately went to work. However, when the permission was revoked, he had to do some damage control by modifying the casting. An interesting piece of Hot Wheels history that was not treated very kindly by its previous owner. I felt this would be a good opportunity to give it the DeLorean metallic paint job. And does it look great with its new metallic coat? The windows were cleared of paint, revealing their green tint. The wheels received a refresh, the hubs were re-chromed and new axles were fitted. I also painted the taillights with the arrows red, which makes for a striking contrast. 
a strange little model with an interesting story. If you enjoy my videos, please leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick the notification bell. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.